All right. Uh, I think we can, we can start. There might be some people coming a bit late from the trains, but they'll find us. Um, so, um, my name is Karina Nikunen. I'm the professor of media and communication research here at Tampere University. And I'm, I'm really excited to welcome you to the fifth Geomedia Conference, Digital Geographies of Hope, here in Tampere. And the fact that, that this conference takes place in Tampere is a result of a great cooperation between Karlstad University, the heart of Geomedia, probably, <laughs> the, uh, uh, the Geomedia Research Group, um, led by Andre Janssen, invited me to Karlstad uh, as visiting professor in 2021, and now here we are. This is the result of the cooperation. And I'm really happy that, um, to see you here. Uh, and so uh, I want to thank the Karlstad team, Cornelia Brantner and Karin Fast, as well as Andre Jansson, for initiating and planning the conference. And also here in Tampere, uh, I want to particularly thank Anumita Goswami, whose work has been invaluable in help. Also, Anne Soronen, as well as Soma Pasu, uh, Sumangosh, and Dilara Asardak for their help. And this year, we have um, a challenging but always timely theme for the conference, hope. As academics are not perhaps the best in providing hope, we, we tend to be very critical, and while critique is the root for hope, uh, the hopeful aspects of it may sometimes be forgotten or get lost. So our task today is to hold on to it and explore hope. But what is hope? Um, Ernst Bloch, in his book published in 1950s, The Principle of Hope, makes a distinction between abstract and concrete Utopia between utopianism and uh, utopia, where the former refers to the strivings for improvement and the latter refers to a concrete and fixed idea of a future society. Utopia, then, is more of a one-dimensional fixed image of an ideal society, whereas utopianism refers to a process or an energy of imagining. Utopianism is connected with creativity and forms of curiosity oriented towards the future with the desire to dream, wish, imagine, and hope. It is an anticipatory consciousness. Utopianism describes the energy of exploring alternatives materialized in actions where people come together to demand and hope for something better. Ruth Levitas considers this distinction between abstract and concrete utopia useful as it, uh, it enables us to trace changes in form, content, and function over time and to take more cautious stand over questions of possibility. It enables us to address the existential, uh, existential core of utopian longing. David Harvey, in his book, Spacious of Hope, argues that one of the main features of global capitalism today is the need to reconstruct and reconfigure the built environment, conquer land and space. Indeed, space has become the battlefield of many utopias, hopes and dreams, quite concretely through missile satellites and data centers in space. And although spaces of hope may be diminishing, David Harvey calls research to seek alternatives, to seek alternatives in times when it seems that there are no alternatives. This requires finding hope that is not based on naive optimism, but in recognition of complexities of social worlds and their challenges. He's looking particularly for a combination of contextual, robust geographical knowledge and cosmopolitan ethics of justice, fairness, and reason to be able to produce alternative visions of future. To me, some of the most hopeful academic books include work by anthropologist Lisa Malki. Hello, Minna. <laughs> who, uh, Lisa Malki, who talks about imaginative politics, small acts, 
that may seem trivial but still matter. Her study explored how elderly women in Finland seek meaning in their everyday life by joining Red Cross projects of charity knitting. Malki maintains that knitting is motivated by the possibility of being part of something greater than oneself. For the lonely, it offers imminent dependency connected to hope, to make a contact to the world, to be useful in time of life when one is often considered useless, ineffective, or surplus for the society. Knitted objects then become optimistic emissaries of solidarity of strangers. Importantly, Malki's reading is not sentimental, as it recognizes that imaginative politics are full of contradictions and hierarchies, and that's what we need to study too. Perhaps we find imaginative politics in our research of digital technologies, of activism, community building, practices of repairing algorithms, counter-mapping, artistic interventions, or decolonizing tech powers, their data centers and platforms. Our challenge really is to craft a connection between imagination and lived experience in constituting hope and sustainability of the material dimensions of our life worlds. Whatever shape imagining alternatives take, it is important that we continue to find ways to talk, think, feel, act, and do research in the face of injustice. And that's where the hope also stems from. So, in the coming days, we will explore ideas, imaginations, and geomedia constellations of hope, and hopefully have fruitful conversations and new ideas. Before I give the floor to Andre and Sarah, our wonderful keynote speaker, there are a few practical issues. The badge. This badge operates as your guide. You see the QR code. It takes you to the conference website where you find the program maps and, and abstracts. It is also your wallet. So uh, on two, Thursday and Friday, you can pay the lunch by showing the badge, and also the dinner on Thursday evening. And tonight, uh, this is the entrance ticket for the Refugee Film Festival event. Um, all the, all the um, rooms are close by, so the sessions will take place mainly on this side, and the coffee is on that side. And that's also where we have our photographic exhibition by Reza Adib, uh, it is named uh, Forgotten Moria, and it is a photo exhibition from the biggest refugee camp in Europe in Lesbos. So please take time to go through the exhibition. Um, and tonight, there is a film screening with Refugee Film Festival at Restaurant Telaka, third floor, at 7 p.m., and you can find the location in the, in the map on the conference website. Uh, Refugee Film Festival is a multilingual film uh, festival that raises questions from different viewpoints about immigration and life as a refugee. It is a non-profit uh, organization, and tonight we'll also learn more about their activities, and we will see two quite fascinating films in the event. So, once again, welcome to the fifth Geomedia Conference in Tampere. And now, Andre. And Sarah, the floor is yours.